Hey YouTube, there's a lot of interest expressed in the tetrafluoroethane and water video. So in this video, I'm going to go a little more in depth as to what tetrafluoroethane is and why it reacts the way it does with water. Tetrafluoroethane is composed of two carbon atoms, two hydrogen atoms, and four fluorine atoms. It was introduced in the 90s to replace Freon in refrigeration systems. However, it is already being phased out due to its own contributions to climate change. With a boiling point of minus 26 degrees Celsius, it must be kept below this point in order to remain a liquid at atmospheric pressure. In its liquid form, tetrafluoroethane is slightly more dense than water. This means that as it's poured into the water, it is not buoyant enough to float on top. It begins to sink to the bottom. As it sinks, it absorbs energy from the water, raising it above its boiling point, causing it to rapidly boil. This is similar to what happens when water is poured into boiling oil. As the water passes through the oil, it is heated to above its boiling point, causing an explosion. This explosion is a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. In order to demonstrate an actual boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion, I've placed some tetrafluoroethane into a closed container and allowed it to warm up to room temperature. When the container is open, the majority of the tetrafluoroethane instantly boils into a vapor, propelling it out the end of the container. The liquid that remains after the explosion stays because energy is needed in order to change most of it into a gas. This energy is pulled from the remaining liquid at the bottom, lowering it to below its boiling point. Although it was an explosion, it was a very cold explosion. The container is now below minus 25 degrees Celsius. After the vapor explosion, the water can be heard to crackle and pop. This is because some of the tetrafluoroethane has dissolved into the water. In much the same way that you can carbonate water, you can tetrafluoroethanate water. The bubbles you hear are the same as the bubbles you get when you open a can of soda. I hope this answered some of your questions, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.